Greetings, one and all, and welcome for the very first time to Deliver Us the Moon with me, Lathrix. Now this is a very honestly awesome looking title. A game which is currently still in the Kickstarter, there will be a link below, all about you, the last saviour of mankind. And to get a feel for things, let's quickly go into the intro cinematic, which I may have forgot to record in the first place. So let's have a look at that and get straight into what this game is and how we're going to be tackling it today in this First Impressions episode. I'm afraid the worst has happened. Operation Global Remedy has failed and, and we are looking at a vast depletion of the Earth's resources. Should we engage on our final backup plan? This astronaut is the only chance humanity has left for survival. Are you aware this is a do-or-die mission? Once we launch, there's, there's no turning back. We have no choice. All mankind depends on it. Please, deliver us the moon. Deliver us. Please, deliver us. Please, deliver us. Hopefully that set the mood, and now onto the game itself, and a few more details about what it's supposed to be. So it is supposed to be an episodic storytelling game that also has a lot of the aspects of survival games and exploration games, which basically means it's combining almost all of my favourite things and putting them into one game. Certainly not the first game ever to do this, but I've always enjoyed those type of games, so I can only imagine this is a game Game I will enjoy. Which brings me on to my last point before we start the actual gameplay. I was of course given this game for free as a Steam key by the developers. I am legally obligated to say this, but also I like to mention it actually in the video rather than just in the description, because if this would otherwise colour your opinion of my experience, if you think I'm enjoying it more because I got the game for free and such, you are welcome to think that, and I would rather you think that than be deluded into the fact I got the game via paying or of course putting money into the Kickstarter. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible, as this is not a review, this is simply our first impressions of the game, our first 30 or so minutes. So first impressions on terms of style, I really like it. There is a few issues loading up the game, but of course it is still in the beta and not actually released yet at all. It's still on green light on Steam and still on the Kickstarter page, so as you can imagine, bugs like that should be removed, but I had some issue actually getting it to run in any decent resolution. It kept on defaulting to 480 and would not budge. I'm now happily in 720, so that's what we're going to be sticking. Been given no orders just yet, so I can only imagine we need to find out what to do next. So I can't interact with anything right now. Oh, I can jump! In a very odd fashion, I'm assuming we're pressing this big red button. Can I go into first person? Oh, I can! Do I prefer this or third person? Honestly, I think I prefer this. I really like the style. The style is very, very nice, so I do definitely approve of that. Oh! I literally thought we were already in space. Well then, th uh, that makes more sense from the start. We are in a world devoid of resource. And now we must go and save the world. Okay, a bit of a skip there, just because I completely forgot to lower the sound, and it was deafening by the rocket. At the moment, I can only get fraps to record this, which means it's all on one system. So right now what we're doing is the rocket quick startup guide. All I did was walk into the rocket. That is literally all I've done now. Start each event with caution. Wrong buttons will cause a full system shutdown. There are two phases, ground phase, seven stages, and air phase, three stages. Complete all ten stages to arrive on the space station. They're entrusting me to do this. We're doomed. The human race is doomed. So right now it wants me to retract the orbiter access arm. How do I do? Aha, that one. Start auxiliary power. I don't know where that is. I haven't seen that one. No, I have. Gaseous. I saw that earlier. It's one of these, isn't it? Yep. Activate sound suppression systems. 
activate hydrogen burn off system. Hydrogen burn off system. Main engine start. We're going to space, boys. For the glory of the Omnissiah. This is very circular. Oh, I've never felt so ill in a game before. This would be amazing using virtual reality. I'm just going to put it out there. I would love the Oculus Rift right now. And hate it. I'd be very ill. Oh. Can you imagine doing this in real life? I have more respect for astronauts than a lot of people do, and a lot of people have a lot of respect for astronauts. But my lord, leaving the Earth behind, going into outer space, going into a realm that is not our own, is so ridiculously terrifying for me. It's just, it makes me feel sick to my stomach just thinking about it. Of course, it's an honor and something so unique and amazing, but ah, I'm a coward. What do I do now? Just wait until the air phase kicks in. Oh, things happening. Main engine cut off. Okay, so how do I turn it off then? There we go. No. That comes last. I don't know how to. It won't let me press the button I did. did, 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 did. Maybe that? Uh oh. You know when you do something wrong and you realise you've done something really wrong? Main engine cut off. I can't turn it off though. There is no way for me to turn this off. Okay, I'm clearly missing something. I pressed that button before so I thought it wouldn't change its... Yeah, okay, okay. You can all face farm together, okay? Now stage separation. I think we lost something. And second stage, ignition. That's it, right? Complete all ten stages to arrive at space station. Victory! I think we've just beat the game. We can go home. Mission accomplished. The world is saved. Hello there. We are your saviour. If you look alarmed, it's because I am an idiot. And I am your saviour. <laughs> Lafrix is anyone's saviour? I'm very sorry for the person who needed saving. Oh, that's good. Well, I can't breathe. Who needs to breathe anyway? Definitely prefer first person. I really like the style! Good job I'm in this suit then. Oh! I'm assuming that's our oxygen meter. I'm guessing running is worse. Who cares, I'm running anyway. Ooh, a button. Do I press the button? I press the button! I love pressing buttons. Thank you. I'm probably going to suffocate on the first mission. Seems a little bit damaged here, guys. Not taking care of your stuff. What's your mother your mother been teaching teaching you? I can't say words! Ah! Oh the stammer, the illness, the wrongness of space. Remember, lads, kids, and anyone who's watching in general. I'm paid to speak. If I can do it, anyone can. Okay. This looks very messy. Boop. Ooh. Distracted for a moment. Okay, everything I said about the whole astronaut thing and fear, this right now is a reason for a lot of people, including myself, to dream of being in space. Just seeing the entire world, every human soul, unless there's a person behind you, I suppose, currently in one location is... It's one of those things that gets you, you know? Even me, I'm not exactly a sentimental creature. I'm, I'm almost devoid of sentiment most of the time, but sometimes, especially with this awe-inspiring music in the background, it is a lovely thought. It's thoughts like that that push people... Oh. <laughs> well, that really confused me. Oh, I'm going to suffocate. I'm going to say drown. I don't want to drown in nowhere. Running is probably a bad idea. Remember, we we discussed this, Latherix. Stop beeping! Ah! Up. Go up. Make oxygen. The human body is ill-equipped for this. 
Oh, I made it! I'm guessing we have oxygen here or something. Your savior has arrived. Now it's turned into a horror game. Oh, that's what this reminds me of in terms of style. It reminds me somewhat of, um... Sorry, I'm being completely distracted by looking at what are those. I don't know. Oh, wait. A lot of the horror games, which are like underwater and stuff, there was a recent one whose name isn't coming to me at the moment, which will probably come to me later, and I'll be like, Oh, that game! Ooh, things. What are in those? I'm guessing gas of some kind? Possibly fuel? The game I was thinking of was Soma. I may have had to just pause there to go and quickly Google it because it was slowly driving me insane. Well, actually, rather rapidly. Back into first person. I will say that at the moment, there is a little bit of frame loss, but mostly when I'm in third person. I wonder what happened to all the other humans. I mean, obviously, resource lost, the world has become desert. But, well, actually, no, there's no proof the world has become desert. Just the area you were in was very barren. I do wonder if, it's going to, if, if there is actually going to be any horror elements. In case of emergency, applying high voltage will cause this door to open. Okay, well, that's what we're doing then. I'm trying to find high voltage. Scary machine thing. Which I probably shouldn't be messing around with. Poke. I'm assuming you are high voltage. I am. Maybe I've got to be closer to the thing. It's a gun! I am holding down the right mouse button, it doesn't currently work. Once again, this is a beta demo, so a lot of things won't simply work first time or not at all. Maybe I've misjudged what the game is exactly going to be. Now I can't aim still, which is somewhat worrying. Hmm. Now I would simply quit the game and come back. Aha! I can aim when I'm in third person. I can't do anything to that, so I'm not actually going that way, apparently. Where am I going, then? Okay. We are a stormtrooper. Ooh, a green button. Right, that's what I just pressed. Hmm. I'm missing something. When I try and fire normally, if I'm not locked on, it simply doesn't fire. So clearly we've got to lock onto the door, I'm assuming. But I can't. So what do I have to do here to get this door to open? Or perhaps I don't have to. Perhaps getting that door to open isn't the task. Getting this door to open is. Ah, that makes more sense. Okay, look for what's actually on there. Ooh, hello. Okay. Going to go back into first person though. What do we have here? Oh, I really should have jumped earlier, since we were actually there, yeah, since we were actually in low gravity. Perhaps that could have made a difference. You never know. Maybe we could have jumped a lot higher for a lot longer. It's very possible. Let's go this way first. Not much really to see. Machinery, something I can't open. Then a way down. Way down first and then go back to the door. Okay, never mind, we'll go for the door first. This way seems like the actual way. I'd like to explore first, of course. If you're going the right way first time when you're playing an, e an exploration game, you're doing it wrong. Oh well, maybe not. There's multiple paths we can take. Well, there's a big red button there. 
And that looks like the correct way, so let's go this way instead. Hello? We are going in circles. Oh, hello. Look guys, Earth again. Yes, indeed. The WSA. Oh, the world, the world space agency, I suppose. So I'm assuming. I'm not going to say what I'm assuming is correct. However, normally it isn't. Well, that's pretty cool. Was there anything I just missed? It feels like it feels like this is too much of a setup for nothing to be here. There must be something. Oh, I love space games. There's something about the space setting that always gets to me. Over time as well, I find. It doesn't normally hit me straight away, but once you've been in it for a while, it really hits me, so I can't wait to actually get to the moon, because it does kind of hint we're getting to the moon at some point. And actually exploring. It's beeping at me angrily. I think I might be, just be, be part of the music. Ugh, my speech today is terrible. Come on. Pull yourself together, Lathrix. You're only the saviour of humanity. No pressure, really. Big red button. We press. Me smart. Me can't press. Me failed humanity. Ooh. Hello. Aha! I wonder what this one does. Other than look kind of weird. Pew pew gun? Orb! Kind of looks like a core from Portal. Oh, it's on our back. That's awesome. Oh, okay. So we need to put the thing on. The okay. What is it? Sorry, it's the ASE droid. Come on, ASE. Boop. Now, now me press button. Now me press button. What me do now? Oh, power poles, okay. Power poles. I'm a really bad protein bar. Have you had your daily power pole? Yes! I don't know what it is, but yes. Well, we're definitely using electricity. That's good. I don't want to touch that now. For science and for mankind. I'm quite good. That was odd. I didn't press anything. Anyone notice that the orb's gone? Did it, did it literally just... Oh! 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 We've got a little drone buddy! Oh, that's the best thing in the world! We have a pet! I will call you Wilson! As you might imagine... No, I can't call you Wilson. Oh, I need a name for you! I'm going to call you... Henry. Come on, Henry. I have no idea where we're going now, Henry. Do you? Good! We're both lost. If I start talking to Henry directly rather than as a commentator, then you know I've gone off the deep end even more so. Henry, can you press shiny buttons? Hen Henry. Here, boy. Henry. Don't do that to me. Okay, so I can swap to using my just my hands by pressing Q now. Okay. Oh, I see. It's always trying to be at your back, so it literally hides behind you a lot of the time. Whoa. Don't jump into things, apparently. I'm guessing you can't do that. I'm trying to interact with it without using... Okay. So, Henry... Buddy. Where are we meant to be going now, bud? There was the way up to the control room. 
Keeping track of him is really difficult in first person. And there's also this way. No, that, no that's why we came from. Yeah, that's why we came from. Okay, let's see if we can find where we're meant to be going. Hen? Hello, bud. Ow, look! This is where you go. I'm just gonna ram it. I mean, if it works. Okay, so pedestals can now be activated since we have Henry with us. Come on, Henry. Are you in here with me, Henry? Hen you got teleporting powers. What? No! Um, um, um. I'm so dead. Oh, but where? Why? I am so oblivious to things. Don't make me do things on the timer. Henry, save me. Oh. Okay. Sure. I don't know why it opened, but sure. That is so cool. Low gravity. This doesn't seem smart, Henry. Henry, what happened? Are you okay? Well, that's that then. That's the end of the current demo. So by the looks of it, it's going to be basic puzzle solving. It's going to have elements of survival in the form of your oxygen, which of course was going to be a thing because it's on the moon. It's going to be voice acted according to the Kickstarter, at least in part, and I will check that. Anything I say, if I if I say anything incorrect at this point, please check the description. There will be corrections, knowing me. But um, it seems interesting. I don't think there was too much to go by by the demo then. I love the style. I love the atmosphere of it. The music was great. Uh, so many good things to say, but there isn't enough to really judge. But again, th this wasn't the review. This was just me playing the game. Please, game devs, please make this a good game because I will play it so much if it is decent. So please, please play it well. And with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that the First Impression series is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Looking at games, just for the sake of looking at them, and giving our first impressions in the first 20, 30, 40 minutes of playing the game. Thank you again for watching, and goodbye. And once again, a reminder, the green light link and the Kickstarter link will be in the description until they end. So feel free to check them out, and goodbye. Just a very quick footnote, I do want to say that the game will be fully Oculus Rift available and it will be fully voice acted, so I was correct there. Also there is a lot of things which weren't covered in the demo which are available on the Kickstarter page and of course will be available on Steam and if you simply Google Deliver Us The Moon, like some of the tools and other elements like that. As always, I am generally of the thought that I try to read as little as possible into a game before doing the first impressions, so I simply get the first impressions. This was a bit of a unique case for me, since this is the first time I've ever been on an open beta before a game's actually released, so I perhaps should have done a bit more reading than I actually did. The description will say everything anyway, so once again, thank you, and goodbye. Again!